Denial of service attacks can be conducted by attackers who possess only low skill levels. Although these attacks will not cause long term harm, at best they are a nuisance and at worst can cause a production failure and therefore financial loss. HiOS includes a range of tools to prevent disruption to your network communication caused by malicious network traffic. Denial of service attacks can take many forms. One method is to attack the TCP IP protocol stack on a device, causing it to stop functioning. This can be done by sending the device data packets which do not conform to the standard. The receiving device does not know how to process the packet, so the protocol stack crashes. Another technique is to send a data packet to a device using its own IP address as the source. The device then replies to itself, causing an endless loop. Modern protocol stacks are resilient to these techniques. But if you are supporting legacy devices on your network, such as older PLCs or IOs, switches can filter out these malicious data packets. Internet Control Message Protocol, or ICMP, is used to diagnose errors on networks. The best known component of ICMP is ping. While most of us use pings to detect device availability and response times across a network, pings can also be used for malicious purposes. A broadcast ping will be sent to all devices on a network, and many may reply. Sending a broadcast ping with the source address of another device on the network might result in a denial of service attack. Sending a ping with a very large payload can cause a buffer overflow in the recipient device, crashing the protocol stack. This is sometimes referred to as the ping of death. Again, modern devices are resilient to these kinds of attack but you need to protect your older devices. Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, known as DHCP, is a network protocol used to provide IP addresses and other configuration parameters to end devices. If you attach your computer to a network in the office or at home, there's a very high chance that it will get its IP address via DHCP. In the past, DHCP was not commonly used on industrial networks. But as these networks get bigger, DHCP becomes an attractive option for simplified deployment. DHCP was never designed to be secure and it forms the basis for many network attacks. If you use DHCP, you need to take some precautions. The easiest way to attack a network which is using DHCP is to add another DHCP server. The unauthorized server will hand out IP addresses which are not compatible with the network address plan, therefore disrupting communication. You can prevent this by only allowing DHCP servers to be attached to trusted ports. In other words, ports which are directly under your control. Note that DHCP servers are often attached to networks by accident. For example, a user attaches another switch or a wireless access point to the network without realizing that these devices have an active DHCP server. 
So attacks by rogue servers are often unintentional. DHCP servers have a pool of IP addresses. End devices are issued addresses from this pool. A simple denial of service attack involves the attacker requesting all the available IP addresses from the DHCP server. As a result, no addresses are available for genuine end users. This is known as a starvation attack. Migrating these attacks is not easy, but switches have the tools you require to block this malicious behavior. The binding table is a list of IP addresses and their corresponding MAC addresses. It's usually created via DHCP, but can also be created manually. The binding table is used to prevent many types of network attacks. Here are some examples. IP address hijacking involves the attacker requesting the DHCP server to release and reallocate an IP address which is currently being used by another device. IP source guard allows the switch to check that an incoming IP packet has been received on the port where the IP address is expected to be. Dynamic ARP inspection will check that the ARP requests and responses contain the correct IP MAC address pairs to prevent invalid ARP cache entries known as ARP cache poisoning.